Council property manager Steve has been called out to a one-bed flat where a tenant has died. It's his job to return the property to a rentable state as quickly as possible. He only has sketchy information from the police. This place could be horrible. And on first impression, it's about as bad as it gets. This wall here is it's, it's awful. Um, the mould that's built upon this wall, there's years worth of mould there. I've never seen mould build up on a wall like this. As Steve ventures further into the flat, he realises that the mould problem is comparatively minor. Well, the bathroom's completely full of uh, rubbish. Yeah, I don't know what's under there. Bedroom looks pretty full of rubbish. Where his hands have been touching the doors, and whatever's on his hands is uh, all over the doors and frames. And It looks to me like it's human feces on his hands that he's just passing around the property. The living room's absolutely filthy. Black, yellow tar everywhere, he's obviously a heavy smoker. The floors are absolutely disgusting. This is one of the worst properties I've had to deal with, I think. Very rarely you get them this bad. For Steve, this flat is going from bad to worse, and he's not even seen the kitchen. The smell in the kitchen's getting a lot worse. It's rot, something's rotten in here. It's a very disgusting smell. The cooking area may be one thing, but there are a few more surprises left on the windowsill. Oh, there's some teeth on here. He's um, pulled some teeth out by the looks of it. Three or four teeth on the windowsill, mixed in with the blue bottles. I've never ever seen any teeth on a windowsill before. I've never found teeth in a property. Maybe false teeth, but not their real ones. He's obviously pulled the teeth out himself, uh, probably while he's cooking his dinner or something. The big problem for Steve is that his council staff are not trained to deal with such an extreme clean. He's going to have to call on the services of a specialist company to even stand a chance of eventually returning this property to the rental market. Steve has had no option but to call in extreme cleaners Dave and Graham to deal with the one-bed flat. There's a lot of rodent droppings around, so there may be mice or rats in there. The floors and the walls are covered in human feces all over where he's been wiped his hands on the light switches and stuff like that. It is pretty bad in there, so get suited up. Another day at the office, sir. <laughs> After getting suited and booted, Dave and Graham can get in and check out the flat. Very bad, isn't it? Get some windows out and get some air in here, I think. As always, the first thing to do is to get all the furniture out so they can get to grips with the cleanup. All we're going to do is take a room at a time. I'm going to get all the big stuff out of this room, bag everything up, fold the carpet up, put it on the lorry, and we're just going to start the kitchen. It's all the rooms by room, really. Although these extreme cleans are commonplace for the boys, it still doesn't make it any easier for Dave to contemplate the daily life of the dead tenant. <sighs> to live like this, I don't know, it's just, it's just heartbreaking, really. Because it's just horrible, the old, the old house is just a mess. After a while, the sitting room is looking a lot better, clear of furniture and the unsavoury carpet. Now it's on to the kitchen and the teeth on the windowsill. That human's teeth? He's pulled his own teeth out. No. That is amazing. He's actually pulled the whole lot out, the roots and all. Look at that, escorts. Stylish and sophisticated ladies available for on-call areas. Look at that. Some that is top. some crisp neck curtain, that is, isn't it? As if the ornaments on the window sill aren't bad enough, after making a start clearing the masses of rat droppings and detritus from the cupboards, Dave makes a disgusting discovery. Oh, dead rat. It's horrible. There's a boiler down here or some sort of eating system. No, just cleaning the bottom of it out. No, uh, that smell it smells like human feces. First time I've ever ever smelt a dead rat, and it's not nice. With the worst of the kitchen cleared, it's now on to what seems to be the bathroom, filled to the ceiling with black bin liners containing yet more rubbish. When eventually they clear the bags, the bathroom underneath is decidedly unpleasant. Stay at toilet. Oh wow. Absolutely disgusting. After the bathroom, the final room is the bedroom, stacked full of an array of boxes, old clothes and carrier bags. Now, having cleared a van load of furniture, the odd mattress and about 50 bin bags of rubbish, the boys can head down to the local dump and call it a day.
Dave is back to start the deep clean of the one-bed council flat. Today he's brought along Lee and the legend that is Showroom Rob. It's a nickname founded on a somewhat obsessive attitude towards cleaning. So the first thing showroom tackles is the thick layer of nicotine coating the kitchen units. Nicotine, yeah, you don't normally find it in the cupboards when it's, the doors are closed. It's, it's even in there. It must have been on about a thousand fags a day. After making short work of the nicotine stains, Rob, with his customary zeal, immediately volunteers for the bathroom. I'm just about to get the faeces off the toilet, what's been plastered there for years by the looks of it. For most of us, spending hours with our head down a loo would seem a terrible existence. But to Rob, it's oddly satisfying. Other people would say it were an obsession, yeah, but I just like to make things look good. It's a challenge every day to do this. If I had a job where everything was clean, it wouldn't be so big the boring, would it? Within a matter of hours, Rob has worked his magic with the loo, and the rest of the flat ain't looking too bad either. Dave and his team are rightly proud of what they've done. We've uh, finished the bedroom now, which we're standing in, done the living room, and basically all that's left now is just to finish them, finish the hallway and a couple of cupboards. But we've, we've broke the backbone really of it, we've, we've done really good. Now Steve from the council can get the flat refurbished and redecorated to get it back on the rental market in the next couple of weeks.